Good morning! I am so cold! But we're making it through. Slept in this morning. Today's just gonna be a day in my life. I love the campground that I'm at. The service is a little spotty. Overall, it's great. It's a three day stay limit. I'll show you around at some point today. I'm taking this morning very slow. I'm going to, first off, I went to bed really late because I was editing for YouTube. And then next thing you know, it was super late. And the coyotes were insane last night but let me show you a little sneak peek of the view take the curtain down if it will fall whoa good morning sun oh my goodness crazy yesterday morning it was so foggy and it was so spooky like you couldn't even see the water it was crazy i was kind of hoping it was like that again this morning i originally woke up at 7 30 and i looked out and i was like i'm going back to bed and now it's 8 30 but i'm in a beanie i'm in a sweater i have leggings sweatpants and then i have wool socks with hand warmers in them it wasn't as cold as the previous night got down to 35 degrees last night i'm pretty sure it only got down to 40 it's supposed to be even warmer today so that's good i am gonna make some pancakes but i'm not that hungry right now so i'm just going to do some work on my laptop but i'm gonna brush my teeth and do all those fun things i know i say this a lot but it's a small space and my car gets messy so quick it'll be fast to clean up so we're also gonna do that today I had a rodent in my engine last night and the night before. I guess the dryer sheet did not work. And I also put cinnamon underneath my car. I sprinkled a little bit. Played the frequency last night and the night before. The frequency works really well. Sleeping in the beanie was definitely necessary. Between your head and your feet and your hands. Something I forgot to get was baby wipes and I'm almost out. Probably have two of these little sheets left. I also want to state I do have a heated blanket but the thing is if I use the heated blanket it drains my jackery fast. If I was really really cold I would do it but the hand warmers and the socks worked fine. It's always good to laugh at yourself. I mean, I think I'm funny, so that's all that matters, right? Uh-oh, it's windy. Of course, the second I pull out my camera, it's like, hi, wind. I only edited for 30 minutes because then I needed to go to the bathroom, so I got out. And I was like, you know what? It's a perfect time for me to set up and cook breakfast. I'm right here, but I did have my car parked out there, but the thing is, kind of have you tucked away from the wind. I did have my car parked out there and I have it for the thumbnail of this video, but there's kind of a lot of wasps and the service right there is really bad. The second you pass this picnic table, service non-existent. All right, let's make some breakfast. I'm almost out of chai tea mix. Oh, there's a wasp. a little harsh but they look so good I'm so excited syrup I love syrup it looks so bomb so I think I'm gonna have to switch to the chocolate chip ones over the original I'm almost done but I need you to know how crazy I look right now because I have this camera I have Before I finish those last two pancakes, I was like, I need to set that solar panel out. So there she is. I'm just gonna leave all of this out. And the Dawn dish soap with the wasps, they seem to be curious and fly around, but the second they get a sniff of it, they just leave. Whereas in the past, they just more just keep coming and coming and then I end up having to eat in my car. This is my outfit right now. And I have the double layer, but this sweatshirt, hopefully you can see it good, but my sister made it and it's on sale for Etsy shop. Top her shop linked 
in the description. Go check it out. I'm gonna sit in my car and start editing more. I would sit right here, but I'm not feeling it right now. Jackery is still charging. Let's see what's up. At 42. Anyways, let's get to work in. And then when I take my next break, we'll do a little walk around and I'll show you this campground because it really is great. Like I have a table, you even have like a fire pit, an amazing view, three day stay limit. There's trash cans. I love when places have trash cans. You got one right there, you go over that way. It's just nice. Yet there's still trash on the ground. Not as much as some. Just took off my beanie and what? What, <laughs> what is this? All right. <laughs> That has to stay on. Things are blowing. Okay. Okay. I swear, whenever I try, it's just like, let the wind begin. How bad my service is. So I move it to the front seat. Sometimes that speeds it up. And there's a spot in between two rocks over there. For some reason, you stand in this little spot, which I'll take you to again when I do my walk. That's where it's really good. Anyways, hopefully that gets posted. I was gonna finally cut my hair today, but of course it's windy. I should have done this yesterday. Oh my, this is a giant knot. This, what the heck? Look how long my bangs are. I mean, I guess what I could do is lay down my one blanket, do it in here, and then just shake out my blanket, which cutting your hair when you don't have a mirror is extremely difficult. We're gonna make it work. I'm gonna be in my car a lot today, which normally if I'm at a campsite, have my like table, I'll have my chair and I'll do work outside, but I had the picnic table so I didn't need to bring down the chairs. But it's windy. I need to take a break, so we're gonna go walk around the campground. But I'm filming in here right now because the wind is up to 18 miles per hour and it's not slowing down anytime soon. We'll show you clips, but I probably won't be talking. I will try the best that I can. Let's go. Here we go. Obviously, we gotta start with the campsite. Here's an overview. I have this whole little area. We're gonna do the brisk walk to the bathroom. And I just wanna show you, cause we'll say this is really weird for the bathroom. It doesn't have locks on it. I mean, good thing it's not really busy over here, but obviously male, female. Stop, do not enter, do not enter, knock first, one person at a time. Okay, but look, no lock. But it's a really clean vaulted toilet. I'm gonna be using this, but it's the good stuff. They have nice toilet paper, like soft and plush. Okay, two ply. I'm so used to the one ply. These are all campsites. Obviously, I'm right here because this area is the strongest service. Over here, I don't know if they're out. There's usually little cows, which is fun. Someone painted an American flag on the rock, and someone else painted another American flag on this rock for this little campsite. When you drive down this road, it enters into the campground. So then it just says, stop, campers must register. And then all the rules, two more. And then the dog, they have this nice little thing that even got little goggles. Every time I'm about to talk, the wind starts. Hopefully I was able to get some good clips. Very unfortunate because this is a cool campground. But I'm gonna open one of these and then get back to editing. Love. The only positive that comes from it being cold is my drinks are cold, my fruit is cold, like my bag of grapes. They're perfect. These seem like they've been in the refrigerator. And look how big. This is not a normal grape size. They're literally bigger than my eyeball. I don't know what they're putting in these grapes to make them that big, but... but yeah, that's the positive because then my drinks are cold, my water's cold, it's nice, my fruit is cold. I kid you not, I could not find my phone for the last 20 minutes. I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh, did it fall out of my pocket when I was moving the solar panel? So I'm like, it's in the water. I'm looking, tearing my car apart even more. You want to know where it was? You'll never believe it stuck to the bottom of my laptop because the Octobuddy. Who 
my gosh. The wind is not letting up. Okay. I have my phone Octo Buddy right here so it can get the most service. My laptop's right here. It's loading. Right now it's at 7%. Let's see how long this takes. So it's currently 129 at 7%. I might have to go to the rock later this evening if this is still taking long. But I'll show you right now where the rock is. Okay, let's go. Between this rock, you gotta stand right here. I really am trapped in my car for like 24 hours. One of these days when it's raining, I should do a trapped in my car, but like I'm not. Like that, isn't that the whole purpose of the challenge is you physically can't leave your car? I don't know, should I do something like that? We're also at 13% and right now I would sit here and do some stuff for Pinterest, but I don't wanna take the service away from my laptop. I'm still in the front seat. I just finished up typing the description and doing the tags and all of that. It is now 1.50. It's only been what like 20 minutes and we're at 43% I hope I'm not jinxing it right now, but that's the fastest it's uploaded in a very long time We're at 44 now 44% let's go I'm gonna run to the bathroom and I'm going to leave this and not touch it and hopefully it keeps going I just filled out my spray bottle. I'm gonna brush out my hair outside and then we're gonna cut my hair in the back of my car because I can't obviously, it just wouldn't go well. Imagine me trying to cut my hair. <laughs> know why it wasn't recording so I don't know what I all said what I didn't but anyways don't have a mirror shoot duct tape please duct tape right now I've been trying to cut my hair the last few days and it just needs to get done today or I'm just gonna keep saying it and it's never gonna get done is that does that look like it's in the middle does that look centered <laughs> this is what happens when you don't have a good mirror I'm gonna climb to the front and look in that mirror and that will be the judge it is crooked I'm gonna I'm gonna try to center it out up here this is as good as it's gonna get. My hair is so greasy. You're probably like, Haley, why don't you just go get your hair cut somewhere? The only people I trust with my hair is me, myself, and I, and my mother. Holy cow, this is so difficult. To be honest, I think I did a pretty dang good job. These are gonna be my curtain bangs that I obviously need to touch up. This is the problem. I need to get these wet, but I can't go outside because it'll ruin everything. Okay, my little shield, because my car will be wet if I try to do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got the bag. There we go. No going back. That's a perfect length. Mm -hmm. Moment of truth. Oh shoot. It's okay. We're just gonna... This side is definitely longer, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, my back hurts. Not too shabby. Now I need to trim my ends of my hair. So usually what I do is I section my hair into three ponies to do layers, but I do not want that anymore because when I wear a braid, pieces all stick out and I just don't want that. I'm just gonna say it's done. I trimmed these pieces a little bit, but I won't really know what my hair looks like until I see like a full mirror. Haircut done. Just because it's windy, whoa. Okay, I thought I heard a pan fall. Throwing it back into a braid. I'm gonna put the beanie back on my head so it doesn't like lie everywhere. I haven't gotten this question in a while, but if you're curious, people are always like, how do you get your hair so long? And how does it grow so fast? I wash my hair once a week, if that. Sometimes I'll go a week and a half to two weeks before I can actually wash my hair. And I just do shampoo on my scalp. And then when I wash it out, obviously, Obviously, it'll run through my whole hair. But then with the conditioner, I literally only put conditioner on this much of my hair. And I let it sit. I let the conditioner sit on my ends while I shave and stuff. The natural oils in your hair is so good for your hair. And a lot of people are like, oh, my hair gets greasy so fast. Uh, you have to push through. It'll take like, it'll take about like two to three months for you to like get to the point where you can go over a 
a week without washing your hair. And during the time, try your best to not put dry shampoo in your hair until that weak point. Or, I mean, if you absolutely have to do it, but try not to even use dry shampoo. Just wear hats. If you're trying to grow your hair, just wear hats. That's the other thing. I hardly put heat on my hair. And if I do, I only curl it. I don't straighten my hair. <sighs> I'm back in my front seat. I took the blanket out and let it blow out a little bit. So if there was any hair that did fall into the blanket, 10 minutes left of uploading the HD. It's now 240. It's taken an hour and 10 minutes. I think while I'm sitting up, <laughs> this really is 24 hours in my car. While I'm sitting up here, I'm gonna clean up this and figure what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight. I have an idea, but I don't know if I should do the tacos or if I should do like a stir fry. I don't know. With the wind, oh, it's gonna suck. But I wanna make my dessert tonight. This is a very trust the process clean up. I take that back. It's now saying 54 minutes, but still that's, that's pretty good. I love how my hair just naturally curls outward from my face. Like my bangs just dry naturally in these little curl cubes. They're still drying, but oh my gosh, it just finished. It just finished. Yay. My YouTube video says checks complete. No issues found. Yes. I still need to do the thumbnail though. Other than that, oh my gosh, I, it's 3.03, so it took like two hours? That's the fastest it's gone up in a long time. Now to you, this might look like a mess, but to me, it's great. And the things that I need tonight are on top, so it works out perfect, so I don't have to dig through it all and make a mess again. But... This is what she's looking like. So much better, and remember, and it just looks even better when you have that to cover it. Now I need to tackle this. I was just sitting in the back, but I moved up to the front because I'm going to explain what I'm going to make for dinner. You'll see me cooking, but I won't be doing any type of talking. I'm going to make barbecue pulled pork tacos. Of course, canned, you know, tortillas. This yellow bell pepper into like small little chunks. After I have this cooked for a little bit, then I'm going to chop up little bits of onion and then throw that in there. Once that's sauteed good enough, I'll throw the pulled pork in there. Let's get cooking. It's going to be so fun because the wind wind Good thing I have a second one because this just ran out. Both camera batteries died so while I toasted the tortillas, I let it charge. I also added the pork into the peppers. I made six. Moved into my car because it's too windy and I want to be able to do a taste test, but these look so good. I'm going to try one without lime and then the second one up the lime and give it a go. Mmm, this is so good. I'm making these again. Squeeze it onto this one just a little bit. Okay. Why did it take me so long to make these? I think I might like these over the chicken quesadillas. And that's saying a lot. I love lime. These are some juicy limes. I'm gonna sit and enjoy these last three. The wind has like died down too. Out of nowhere. Like, of course, the second I'm done with dinner, it's done. Whatever this is. I don't know what this is. Bro. Okay. Yeah. I got those main pieces that I, they've been bugging me. <laughs> I just moved up to the front seat. I've been sitting in the back with the door open, editing. Ended up creating the thumbnail, but I'm gonna, that's what I have so far. I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna let TikTok decide. I think it looks so cute, but I'm gonna do one more of like me being different just because that's Halloween Town, but then it's on my sweatshirt says Halloween Town. I'm gonna see if there's another photo of me that I can just like, I'll need to Photoshop it and whatnot. Anyways, I'm gonna make some dessert.
dirt. I'm gonna prep it in here because it's starting to get cold and the wind comes in and out of phases. It's definitely not nearly as windy as it was, but it's getting better. So what I'm about to make, it's something that I would make when I was at Girl Scout camp or anything Girl Scout related. This was the dessert we made. You've probably done it before or heard of it. So basically you take foil, you take a banana, you split the banana and you can stuff it with whatever. What I'm stuffing it with is marshmallows and chocolate chips, but we'll see. Usually you're gonna want a bigger banana. smells like a campfire. This is my first time doing it on like a stove and it's my first time doing it in years. I'm just used to doing it with the fire. I try to take a little sneak peek while I was cooking it, but I folded it wrong. I needed to fold it so I could see it better. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, not too bad. Usually it's a lot more melted, but it's supposed to look, see how the bottom's like burnt? That's how the whole banana should look. Again, this is a trial and error because I haven't. Bottom part right there is what the top part should look like. Ooh, the bottom's gonna be so good. It does not look appetizing, but I promise. Here's the first bite. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Look at that, yumminess. So I just need to keep it on a little bit longer. You can put anything, you could put peanut butter, you could put ham crackers. I personally just like the chocolate chips and marshmallows. And another thing you can do is instead of a fork, use a graham cracker and eat it that way. That was so good. Only cleanup is throwing this away and wiping down my knife and fork. You should try this if you haven't. I think I'm gonna end this video here. It's hard to do things when it's really windy or if it's raining. I am mostly cooped up in my car unless I want to deal with it, which personally, I don't. <laughs> That's just how I am. I'd rather be comfortable sitting in the back. But I did do a few little laps. I'm going to be sitting in the back getting more stuff done, and it's really not that exciting. Mm -hmm.